Here we go, folks. Off to the park again. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the vlog with Frankie. I, I just want to make a quick little intro saying thank you for all the support recently. We're headed to the park um, to go for a little hike so that we can uh, get Frankie some, and some exercise. But the love recently on the videos has been quite amazing. And if you guys don't know about monetization, um, it allows the channel to start making money. And we're almost there. We need we need a few more views on the channel, and then and then we can uh, we can officially become like a channel. So thank you. But we gotta go get, pick up uh, a friend, Franks. We gotta go pick up a friend. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Hello? Hi Andy. Hi. Frankie with a log! Whoa, that was nice, bud. Today we are at Conroy Pit with Frankie and Indy, and I don't have my big camera because I broke one of my memory cards, so we're gonna use the new iPhone and see what shots we can get. It's beautiful light right now, so hopefully we'll get something nice. And as you can probably tell, this is the same route I go every single time to get into it, so then you don't have to go through that area that has all the other dogs and you can go on your peaceful walk. Look at it in his butt. <laughs> it's like a J-Lo butt. Yeah, you. You got a J-Lo butt. Frank, you got a skinny butt. Uh-oh. <laughs> so guys, this is Indy. Indy's a little bit smaller than Frankie. And she goes crazy <laughs> if you don't pet her. <laughs> <laughs> this little girl is about four years old she's four right yeah she's four years old and Frankie's a year and seven months I believe and uh, Indy's a little bit more timid but she's very sweet and she listens and she's got a JLo butt as we yeah. established and wasn't she kind of your inspiration for getting nasty mm, no what? and this is my girlfriend Angelica who is the owner of Indy uh, and Indy is a, is a reason why I got Frankie because yeah. I was looking to get a mini Aussie and Angelica had one and I went in to see Indy, loved Indy, then I got Frankie, so she was an inspiration, Yeah. Mm -hmm. but she wasn't the reason. I did lots of research, yeah. but definitely sold me thinking or knowing that they're, they're very pretty. <laughs> One of the questions, or one of the comments on the last video was that I don't trust my dog straying too far away from me. And I, I don't either. There was one clip in the last video where he took off with another dog and he was playing and stuff. And I waited for about like 30 seconds, maybe under 30 seconds. And he was gone quite far, like I couldn't see him. And there was one person commented saying that gave him a lot of stress. And if Frankie was gone for probably more than 30 seconds or a, uh, close to a minute, then I probably would have went around and went to see him. Um, but I, I do have a lot of faith in him. I do trust him a lot. But that's just on me. That's just on, it's a, that's personal preference. Like he's somewhere over there. There he is. And uh, you just gotta trust that he, that he comes back. Or that he stays on the path or stay where you're going. And this girl's a little bit slower. She kind of sticks around with us. He's got a lot more energy because he's still puppy. But he knows where he's going. Here. And that's the key word. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, don't mind Indy trying to destroy Frankie, 
but this is where you can really see that there's so many different trails that you can go to in Conroy Pit. And uh, this is only like a little part of it. And they're still trying to kill each other. But it's fair, because they're like brother and sister. One of the bigger questions that I had before getting an Aussie that I looked into a lot was, are they friendly? Are they, are they friendly to the other dogs? And a lot of the articles that I read were like, no. Like they're very like border collie. They like to do their own thing. They like to work. They like to do their own job and everything like that. But what I've noticed with kind of any breed, if you expose them to it early, yeah. it's all right and it's fine. Um, and leashes are your best friend, long leashes are your best friend, and, and just little tiny ounces of introducing your dog and exposing your dog to other dogs is really important. Not going to a park for an hour, but maybe just 20 minutes, and if your dog's not behaving or another dog's not behaving, you can leave or put a leash on it. Just in a controlled environment, I think it's really, really healthy. So if you have a dog, and it's a puppy, and you want it to be, you know, comfy with other dogs, then you kind of have to open up the idea of exposing them to other dogs. Exposing is the right word? Yeah. Sure. So, see, this is Indy. Indy's, Indy's four, like I said earlier, and Indy was actually adopted. Frankie was still adopted, <laughs> but brand spanking new. Indy was adopted at the age of what? Two. Two. And with that being said, her exposure to other dogs and going to dog parks has been more recent. Because before, you don't know what exposure yeah, she got. Like she was exposed to dogs a lot, but it was more like in a breeding um, environment. environment. And so it's really different. And when I got her, she was extremely shy and timid to dogs and people. Um, so she had never been to like a city dog park before. So that's where I had to like slowly expose her yeah to different dogs and you know it's a lot more like noise too in the city so and then that's that when i feel like thing. frankie might have helped a lot oh yeah because he was just he th this dog i don't get it he can be friends with any other dog um and he's he's cool when a dog doesn't like him but he can get any dog to play and indy before didn't really really play with other dogs it was no. very select few yeah um but with Frankie, she's like a totally different dog. She's very timid, but then with Frankie, she like runs after him and destroys him in the nicest way possible. Well, and she's just gotten a lot better at actually going to other dogs. Like before we go to the park and all she would want to do is be at my feet, like right. jumping up on me, being scared. And now she'll like actually roam around, do her own thing. Like maybe, you know, sniff and play with other dogs, but yeah. But then there's that crackhead who just is constantly exploring. And maybe these two. <laughs> They're cute. Oh yeah, one other thing. Uh, Indy's not the most photogenic dog. <laughs> not She's compared like to this most guy. beautiful dog ever. Seriously. But when a camera but, comes yeah, her way. I don't know why. She always looks funny in the camera. Mother like daughter, right? I'm gonna run away. So last video I talked about staying here and waiting for Frankie to come to me and relying on him to, to, to know where I am and everything. But one thing that I don't want you to forget about is kind of this, this calling sound, right? It's not always just staying here because sometimes other people are talking. You need something kind of more distinct than that. Some people whistle, but I don't know. If you want to do that, you can. I do two claps and uh, it always it always seems to work. So I'm gonna wait until he's ran by and he's off and then I'm gonna clap and we'll see. <laughs> hello, it's Frankie. <laughs> oh, hello, it's Indy. She decided to come. Nice job. She just, she's just here for the scratches. She cares about nothing else. If you don't pet her, she gets mad and leaves. So 
there's two types of Aussies in our situation. One is very energetic and one is a little bit more timid. Um, they both play roles in something great in our life. And that's it. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's all yeah. it is. The only different types of Aussies is the ones that you need in your life and how you train your dog is how it's going to be. Um, Angelica's Indy, Indy is a little bit older and obviously you have to train her, retrain her. Yeah. Which is a lot more, for older dogs, it's a lot more repetitive. I find puppies pick it up quicker because that's the first way they don't have to forget about something they just have to learn something and figuring out like what triggers her and what she's scared of and there's been a lot of things like yeah anxiety related things so yeah and there's still a lot to work on but there's a lot to work on with any dog so whether it's adopted or brand new you just got to put your work in either way some dogs are every dog is different yeah but so is every person so everybody needs different things just got a quick question for the doggos come here guys Yes. Did you guys have fun today? Did you have fun today? Yeah, you did? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> fun fact, I recently read an article on how there's no such thing as a jealous dog. And I'm curious to get other people's point of view on this. It's not like set in stone, but a jealous dog it, it gets like aggressive or reactive when another dog comes up to their owner because they see their owner only as a source of resources, not as necessarily like, oh my God, someone I love like I just care about they see you as the source for food mm -hmm. and that's it hmm. which is interesting so they don't yeah. really respect the owner they're just like hey back off this is how I get food and if you hurt it I won't eat yeah so hey that's the that's the topic of today I'm curious I'm not saying that's my mindset or anything but comment down below I'm curious to see all of yours and uh, oh this is the best part let me show you <laughs> this is the best part because it's a big sand pit all right, fight to the death, you two. See, Indy's like kind of tired. She's done. Frank's, he's tired too, but he's, he's a puppy, so he's always got gas in the <laughs> tank. Now, you see, Indy usually beats the crap out of Frankie because she has a lot, a lot more built up in her. <laughs> there we go. Careful. Whoa! Well, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified for our next video. And we'll see you. <laughs> if they survive this next time.